I'm going to talk about today is a new, it's pending still. It is a new sunscreen ingredient that um, not a lot of people are talking about because it's still, like I said, it's still pending and it's called methylene blue. Okay. So if you guys see me looking up and looking down, it's because I'm looking at my computer screen and then I'm looking at my phone. I'm trying to do this at the same time. Okay. So it's called methylene blue and it's actually originally it is used as a medication um, as well as um, for dye obviously like a blue dye. Um, and studies show so far, okay, is, is that it actually helps absorb UVA and UVB rays, so broad spectrum, okay, but it helps boost DNA repair um, and it also fights ROS, which is a reactive oxygen species induced by UVA. Okay, so that basically is a free radical um, and it is related to long term inflammation, cancer, um, lifestyle type related diseases. And so when it's in regards to the skin, it actually ages the skin. Okay, and that's induced by UVA. So this is really hard to try to look at you guys and try to look down at you guys. So, um, and the bonus of this is, is as far as the testing is, is it is um, no harm to coral reefs. Okay, now this is a chemical sunscreen. So just so you know, it's not a physical sunscreen. It is a chemical sunscreen. Okay. Um, they are still testing it. The scientists of um, M Blue Labs and the scientists from University of Maryland. Um, it is a possible alternative ingredient to oxybenzone, which is eighty percent of which is in eighty percent of the chemical sunscreens. Okay, so because some countries and states have already banned uh, oxybenzone because of how it. Um, destroys coral reefs. Now, when they did this test, they compared, they actually did it on a specific coral and it was called Cinea um, Uptilis or umbellatus or something like that. And um, it basically, within one week, when they did the oxybenzone, it started to bleach the coral and then it uh, killed the coral. But this one, methylene blue, it actually did very little harm, even with high amounts of when they exposed high amounts of this to the coral. So that's really good news. Um, so this is still in, they actually applied for a patent application. They're working to formulate different sunscreen prototypes with the methylene blue. Um, so that's actually really good news. Um, okay, now here's the other thing. They tested it with vitamin A, so a retinol, and they also tested it with vitamin C to see what would happen. And what they found was, and they actually did the test, so they actually did not apply it directly to human skin, okay? But they actually did it, they took cells from both older and younger donors, and they tested it on the fibroblast, okay? So fibroblast is what stimulates the collagen and elastin in our skin. So they tested it in the fibroblast and also um, and the keratinocytes, so the skin cells, and they, they saw that when they mixed the methylene blue with the vitamin A, and then they did a separate one where they did it with the vitamin C together on the skin cells of the older donors, okay, so older skin cells, it act, they actually saw that it reduced cellular oxidative stress, which is what causes the aging. So that is really good news. Uh